What's going on guys? Welcome to a new game which released on Steam uh, a few days ago, I think. This is called Firewatch. It's basically like a survival game. I haven't seen anything of this. It looks really cool. I saw a trailer on this a while back. So I was like, yeah, I'm getting this when it's out. So let's go. Let's get straight into it. New game. Oh, okay. We're already into it, guys. Um, is it going to be a cutscene or anything? Just going to wait for it to load. Let's go. Campo Santo. What a lovely name. In cooperation with Panic Inc. It sounds like we're in a bar. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay. Interesting. You see, Julia. Do I have to skip this? Or enter? Space? Move? Down? Click on it? Okay. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out for a drink with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, mare? You, you're pretty. So what's your name? Okay, I'll do that one. What's your mare? You slur the word mare and it sounds like cause. So what's your cause? You begin an awkward smile. Evolution- Oh, cause. Evolutionary biology, she says. I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asked. She sniffs the air. Toxo- Rip. Toxicology, saying I stink. Was that a burn? Oh, he got burnt! She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asked if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay. That was a weird... Oh, okay. Uh, click to use objects. Got my backpack. I'm a student, I think. Hello. Wow, this game is very pretty first off, guys. Very pretty. Get in the truck. Just gonna leave my backpack on there and just go. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Aww. That's cute. Oh, wait. I need to click it. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about everywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her with class. There's also an intimidating but gentle eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, guys. I'm gonna get a beagle. I'm gonna make Julia happy. Book it's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Uh, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radicates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I had a couple of little idiots, I'd be pretty good. I think we're ready. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Julia. Wow, okay. So where are we? For a fair trail here. Do not forget to check in. Okay, so this is like a holiday home, right? Okay, cool. How do I run? Can't run yet, I don't think. Very pretty game, guys. Very pretty. Okay. I don't know what I don't know what's happening. 1980, it's the first day night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I ignore her. I always ignore when I'm moody. You don't, talk, you don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her, her, her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold onto a tiny pill of resentment. You go, but you make some coffee and go to work. This relationship not going. Julia still likes a draw. 
She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you... Uh, a pose like a flex He-Man. You look awesome. Oh, wow. I'm a climber. This is cool. By the way, guys, this is the intro. The whole... not The game is not going to be like this, okay? This is just the intro to get you in the scene of the story. Um, and the personal life between these two characters. So the game is not just about like little sit things you need to click like a storyline, okay? Two forks. Eight more miles, okay? Space bar to climb over. Nice. Oh, wow, that's very pretty. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Uh-oh. Okay. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bah, fuck dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered as she's trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets caught up, but you beat the guy to a pub. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path for that day forward. You said, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Is Beagle, is the bucket okay? Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job associate department chair. She wants to move. You, you do absolutely not want to go. Agree, she commutes, but no, I'll convince her, whatever, make her happy. Tell her she means that we, you two won't to have a family. She says that's bullshit. She asks if you, if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes, again, bullshit. But she decides to not take it. Hey. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it in a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to give them two days prior. She was found crying in the stairway. Um, you make you make macaroni, you drink wine, and try to forget about it. Okay. After seeing multiple doctors having many tests, they worry that Julia might be suffering from dementia. That's sad. Oh, that's me. That's sad. Book it's getting old here. Julia comments that this kind is nice, but he wants to get in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Julia fiction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you and Julia get calls you a dope. Some, day, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unburned children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Suppose you went to bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips and, from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with a little things to brighten your day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere in a 24-hour home care. It sits you with a couple of months. You decide to move her into full-time. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. It's a game. Take care of myself. Hello. I stay determined, you know. Care home's last resort, like, the care home is a last resort. So if things started getting worse, then I would take her to a care home, but you know, let's see how things go. This is a very, I didn't think this game was going to be this, like, depressing. <gasps> Hello, dear. <gasps> Don't go. No. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's, it's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. 
When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about getting her up and walking around while you're gone. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. I wouldn't lock her in. You go to the same bar at the Ed Boring end of St. Pearl's. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed at 1am and a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night you are stopped by a DUI checkpoint. You blow a 10 and you are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So I'm like a ranger then, okay. Like this place where I'm living. Enter the... Oh, okay. So I'm like a ranger at like this mountain area. And I've got to look after the wildlife and stuff. Maybe. And just chillax. This would be a pretty cool job, but it would be very scary at night. And it is night. <laughs> Let's go up to my wa- uh, at least I've got a cool little watchtower. I guess that's fun. Let's go up and take a look, shall we? Wow, look at that view. And then you just see a deadly murder there. Murderer there with a knife in the bush, just staring at you. Let's open the door. Turn on the power. Hey, this is cool. A map type. Hello, Delilah. Singular mind. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh god, hold on. Take that book. It's cool how you can pick stuff up. Where's the walkie talkie? Here we go. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Hello. Hold left shift. Hello. Release set. Ah, oh, okay. Hello. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Um. Uh. Nobody back home can stand you. You're rebelling against mom. You've killed three ex-husbands. Okay. Uh. You've <laughs> killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay. Is she actually a murderer? Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Kind of right. That it. Close? Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Bye. Oh! Firewatch! Day one! Well, oh, I'm like a writer. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, oh. there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay, guys, I think that we... Oh, look at that photo. That's me and G That's so sad. Honestly, I'd be so depressed if this happened to me. But that was the first episode, guys. Uh, Firewatch, uh, we will be doing more because this game seems really interesting. Uh, I, you know, I'm excited. So, yeah, leave a like if you're excited for this game, guys. Lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.